Imagine floating in the vastness of space, surrounded by clouds of interstellar dust and gas glowing with ethereal colors. This is a journey into the heart of a nebula. Nebulae are some of the most visually stunning phenomena in the universe. Formed from the remnants of dying stars or the birthing grounds of new ones, these celestial nurseries are more than just eye candy for astronomers. They're complex, dynamic, and hold secrets about the very building blocks of planets and stars. While nebulae are primarily known as stellar nurseries giving birth to stars, the idea of planets forming or existing in these regions isn't far-fetched. In fact, the same processes that lead to star formation could also lead to planet formation. Think of a nebula as a cosmic cauldron, mixing up various ingredients like gases, dust, and cosmic matter. Over time, under the right conditions, these ingredients can clump together, forming larger bodies. If these bodies are large enough, they might become stars. But what if, in this cosmic mix, some of these clumps form into something smaller, like planets? These planets would then be cradled in the nebula's vibrant embrace, a scenario both beautiful and mystifying. So how exactly do planets form in these vast clouds of dust and gas? The process isn't too different from how planets form in other parts of the galaxy. It all starts with a dense clump of matter within the nebula. Over time, gravity pulls this matter together, compacting it into a protoplanetary disk. It's within this swirling disk that the magic happens. As the disk spins around a newly forming star, bits of dust and rock start to collide and stick together, gradually building up into larger and larger bodies. These bodies, or planetismos, continue to grow, eventually forming full-fledged planets. In the case of a nebula, this process is happening in a much more vibrant and dynamic environment. The thick clouds of the nebula could impact how these planets evolve, potentially leading to worlds that are vastly different from the ones we find in quieter parts of the galaxy. Imagine planets with exotic atmospheres, painted with the colors of the nebula itself, or worlds where the sky is perpetually lit by the nebula's glow. Now let's imagine the unimaginable. What would it be like on a planet nestled within a nebula? First, consider the visual spectacle. The sky wouldn't be the familiar dark canvas we're used to, but a kaleidoscope of colors painted by the glowing gas and dust of the nebula. Day and night might lose their usual meaning under the nebula's constant luminescence. The conditions on such a planet would be drastically different from Earth. The composition and density of the nebula could affect everything from the planet's climate to its potential to harbor life. For instance, the intense radiation from the nebula could create a challenging environment for life as we know it. Yet life has a knack for thriving in the most extreme conditions. So who's to say that these nebula planets don't hold their own unique forms of life? Moreover, the constant bombardment of cosmic material could lead to rapid geological changes, creating landscapes that are ever-evolving and, perhaps, full of surprises. The interaction between the nebula's materials and the planet's atmosphere could also result in unique weather phenomena. Imagine storms of neon rain or winds laced with stardust. So far, we've envisioned the mesmerizing world of a planet inside a nebula. But how does this compare to the more familiar environments of dark space, the vast stretches between stars and galaxies? In dark space, the absence of nearby stellar bodies means less interference from gravitational forces and radiation. It's a quieter, more stable environment, often seen as more conducive to the development of life as we know it. Planets in these regions experience more predictable conditions, from their orbits to their climates. In contrast, a nebula is like a cosmic dance floor, with energetic particles and forces in constant motion. This dynamic environment means that planets within a nebula face more extreme conditions. The intense radiation and varying gravitational forces from the nebula's evolving stars could lead to erratic orbits, extreme weather, and rapidly changing conditions on the planet's surface. It's a more hostile yet undeniably more spectacular environment. The difference is akin to living in a quiet countryside versus the heart of a bustling city. 
Each has its own charm and challenges, and for a planet, these environments dictate everything from its formation to its potential for hosting life. Exploring planets within nebulas presents a set of unique challenges, even by space exploration standards. Firstly, the sheer distance to these nebulae is a significant hurdle. Many of these glowing clouds are hundreds to thousands of light years away from Earth, making current space travel methods inadequate for such journeys. Then there's the issue of visibility. Nebulas, despite their beauty, can be opaque curtains hiding what lies within. The thick dust and gas that make nebulas so fascinating are also what make it hard to see through them using conventional telescopes. This means that detecting planets within these areas requires more advanced techniques, like using infrared or radio wavelengths, which can penetrate these dense clouds. Moreover, the unpredictable and extreme conditions within nebulas would make actual exploration a daunting task. Spacecraft would need to withstand intense radiation, varying temperatures, and potential bombardment by cosmic particles. It's a bit like navigating a ship through a stormy sea, but where the sea is made of star stuff and the storms are cosmic radiation. The concept of planets and nebulae has long captured the imagination of science fiction writers and filmmakers. In these fictional universes, such planets are often depicted as mystical or exotic locations, home to advanced civilizations or unique life forms. These portrayals, while captivating, often stretch the scientific reality to create more dramatic narratives. The current scientific understanding suggests that while it's possible for planets to exist in nebulae, the conditions would be vastly different from the habitable worlds often depicted in science fiction. As we look toward the future, the exploration of nebula planets holds immense promise. With advancements in technology, especially in telescopes and space probes, we're on the cusp of peering deeper into these cosmic mysteries. Future missions may be able to penetrate the nebula's veil, offering us a glimpse of what lies within. One exciting prospect is the development of new observation techniques. For instance, telescopes equipped with advanced sensors could detect the subtle influences of planets on the light emitted by their neighboring stars, even through dense nebular material. This could lead to the discovery of planets that have so far remained hidden in these colorful cosmic clouds. Moreover, advancements in space travel technology, like more efficient propulsion systems, could one day make it possible to send probes inside nebulae. These probes could study the conditions of these regions firsthand, sending back invaluable data about the formation of planets and stars, and perhaps even signs of exotic forms of life. The study of nebula planets also has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. By observing how planets can exist and even thrive in such hostile environments, we can gain insights into the resilience and adaptability of planetary systems. In essence, the future of exploring nebula planets is not just about discovering new worlds. It's about deepening our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.